Hey, thanks for coming back to the channel. Uh, for a lot of you who train with, uh, uh, for concealed carry or you read a lot, uh, some of this might sound like a blinding flash of the obvious, <clears throat> but what I want to talk about is really uh, a quick idea of what situational awareness means in, in, in uh, a formula that you can use to help you think about this a little better. <clears throat> and uh, there's four things uh, in order. Uh, you, you have to perceive what's going on around you. It's really simple, but some people say, well, just scan. Nah, it's not like that. When you look around, you have to see around. When you look around, you have to look around slowly, take in what you're seeing, because the question you're going to ask yourself is, is there something out of place? Is there something out of place? It could be people in a particular uh, uh, situation. It could be vehicles. It could be activity that you can't really put your finger on but it's something that's going to get your spidey sense up. But you have to see in order to perceive. So you don't just look around. You look around with intent. I'll give you an example. Before you go into a stop and rob, right, you park your car. Before you get out of your car, what are you doing? Are you looking through the window of your car? Are you looking at cars next to you, behind you? Are you looking through the glass of the store to see what activity might be going on that you might want to pay attention to? So that's perceiving with intent. The next thing is you have to process based on now what you perceive. If sometimes you have to process what that means to you. Uh, is it out of place? That's the question that you're asking. Because the next thing you're going to do is decide <clears throat> what kind of plan, that's the third one, are you going to execute? It could be, I'm going to leave. It could be, <clears throat> I'm going to uh, cover my firearm. Uh, it could be a number of things that you've thought about. What am I going to do if... That means that you have thought through some things in advance. Uh, and the last thing is, is perform the plan. So if your plan was under certain circumstances you're going to leave, then leave. Then leave. Uh, road rage is a classic one, by the way, where uh, what do you see? You see somebody acting a fool right you process that and then you say what am i going to do what's my plan am i going to act the fool too am i going to act the fool too am i going to do the monkey dance with somebody at 80 miles an hour what am i going to do or am i going to slow down and let them pass me and just and didn't shake my head right and then going about my business that's performing the plan that you thought of so think about those four things. Perceive, and this is the important one, is more than just looking around. You have to look around with intent, with intent. Scan slowly. What is happening? What are you seeing that is not, that is out of place? That's the processing what you're seeing. And then based on that, what kind of plan do you have? And it could be anything up to and including shooting somebody in the face, right? And that's the performance part. Perceive, process, plan, and perform. And if you do those four things, or even think about those things from now on, <clears throat> what will happen is uh, they will become a habit for you. And that's the idea, to have situational awareness 
be a habit. Now, some people will, will look at you and say, you look weird doing that. You look weird doing that. But what's important is that people pay attention to people paying attention. Let me say that again. People pay attention to people paying attention. And that includes the bad guys. If the bad guy sees you paying attention, they don't need that kind of grief. Because that just means they now have to up their game rather than go find somebody else. So people pay attention to people paying attention. Right? So with that, uh, hey, look, if you like the content, this was a short one. Uh, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you get more of this. And uh, as I always say, wherever you can, whenever you can, however you can, carry on.